Talking feels like someone's taking a cheese grater to the inside of my throat. Dan brought some nasty sickness back from work, so I feel like ish today and we're gonna keep this video as brief as possible. And I'm also gonna hope I don't cough at any point in this video because the next time I do, I'm 99% certain I'll turn inside out. So, since it's that time of year where the temperatures are rising, I figured now would be the perfect time to talk about safe temperature ranges for hamsters. Just as with all pets, hamsters do have a safe temperature range that they should be kept in in order to prevent them from suffering health problems. And they also have an ideal temperature range which you should be aiming for in order to keep them the happiest. Depending on who you ask, there can be a little bit of discrepancy with what the perfect temperature is, but the general agreement is that hamsters should be kept around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. But of course, in the real world, it's not always easy to maintain this perfect temperature. So what can hamsters actually withstand when it comes to the hotter end and the colder end of temperatures? The majority of pet hamsters should be able to withstand up to 30 degrees Celsius without suffering any major health complications, though they might not be that comfortable in that temperature. Certainly as the temperatures get warmer and they start to exceed 25 degrees, you should definitely be making some changes to the enclosure to make make sure your hamster can keep themselves cool and comfortable. If you allow your hamster's enclosure and your hamster to get too hot, the main threat to their health are conditions like heat stress and heat stroke both of which can kill your hamster if they're not treated immediately. I already have a couple of videos on my channel discussing easy methods for cooling down or warming up your enclosure if you need to, so once you've finished watching this video, I'll link those in the description box for you to check out. And on the colder side of things, most hamsters should be able to withstand down to about 15 degrees Celsius without any major health risks, though again, they may not be very comfortable and you should make a few changes to the enclosure to try and keep them a little warmer. Once the temperature starts dropping below below 15 degrees Celsius, there is an increased risk of the hamster going to a state called torpor. This is very similar to hibernation, but not quite the same. It's also known as false hibernation or cold shock, and I have an entire video talking about this. Once again, will be linked in the description box. But to summarize what it is, it's basically the body's last ditch attempt to stop the hamster from freezing to death. In response to sudden cold temperatures, the hamster's body shuts down all non-essential functions and the hamster falls into a deep sleep in an attempt to keep itself warm and alive. That's the basics of temperature cover. Now let's quickly talk about humidity because not that many people go on to discuss this and it's just as important as temperature management. The ideal humidity range for hamsters is somewhere between about 40 to 70%, which is quite a big range and so hopefully most people won't have an issue with this but if you do end up living somewhere where the humidity gets very high or very low you may want to consider investing in a dehumidifier or a humidifier. Enclosures that are made predominantly of glass or plastic typically encourage higher levels of humidity so if you need to raise the humidity in your hamster's enclosure you can consider one of these cages and if you need to lower the humidity you might want to consider moving your hamster out of a glass or plastic cage. In Ensuring that your rodent's enclosure also has very good ventilation as well as good airflow is also very important, not just for humidity and temperature management, but just as a basic rodent keeping rule. So although you don't want to be putting their enclosure directly in front of a window or in the line of a draft, you do want to be keeping them in a room that does have windows and does have good airflow and ventilation. Please do not keep your rodents in a room that has no windows, don't keep them in a windowless bathroom, don't keep them in a closet, not only because during the hot months the temperature and humidity in those areas will skyrocket in comparison to the rest of your home but also because rodents have very delicate respiratory systems and keeping them in a room with no airflow and no windows is going to raise the risk of them developing a respiratory infection and it just isn't good pet keeping. Now I would highly recommend getting a thermometer for every single one of your enclosures. I now have one on every single one of my enclosures. And the reason I suggest doing that is because I also have a thermometer that just measures the general temperature and humidity of this room. And there is such a big discrepancy sometimes in the temperature of the room and the temperature of the individual enclosures. For example, my beaker enclosure behind me is often about one or two degrees cooler than the test tube enclosure that I have in the corner. Having individual thermometers on each enclosure means you can ensure that each of your animals is sitting at a comfortable temperature. And if they're not, that you can do something about that. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. All I really can talk about because my throat is about to close up. 
and I'm hoping this video has been helpful and has actually made sense. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions or you want to suggest any other videos you'd like to see in the future, please feel free to in the comment section down below and I will check them out, read them, answer them if I can. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.